So we have launched Bonito series of modules, which are monopack modules, half cut modules with uh, bifacial and monofacial cells. So these are targeted for CNI segment, rooftops, and even power plants. We are with Mr. Vineet Mittal from Navita Solar. The organization has recently launched a new product called Bonito and the director here, Mr. Vineet Mittal, will tell us a little bit about this new product recently launched. Hello. Yes. So we have launched Bonito series of modules which are monopack modules, half cut modules with uh, bifacial and monofacial cells. So these are targeted for CNI segment, rooftops and even power plants. Uh, so I have a lot of questions to ask you from what you just said. So firstly, I want to ask you, what is the difference between monofacial and bifacial module? And going ahead, why do you, what do you uh, witness? Um, you know the growth of bifacial modules. How do you see the growth of uh, modu bifacial module? So monofacial modules means cells which are uh, capturing sunlight only from the top end. So uh, they are only absorbing sunlight from the top and there is nothing from the bottom. Whereas bifacial modules have bifacial cells, cells which are able to capture sunlight from the bottom, from the reflected sunlight that passes through the floor and comes back uh, on the module from the back side. To make a bifacial module, we need to have either a transparent back seat, uh, which is capable of transmitting sunlight from the back end, or we need a glass at the back end. So what we call it as a dual glass module. In both these cases, we are able to capture sunlight from the uh, reflection of the uh, ground and uh, we are able to generate power at least 5 to 15 percent depending on the surface of the land uh, color. Uh, if it is a white color uh, floor then we are able to get at least 15 to 20 percent more output uh, because of bifaciality. Uh, the uh, concept of bifacial modules is increasing rapidly because the increase in cost to make a bifacial module uh, versus the gain in generation is much higher. So people are able to get more power with bifacial modules with almost similar BOS cost. Going forward, how do you see the market for bifacial modules growing? So, uh, currently, we think that it's about between 10 to 20 percent in India, but in next two to three years, it is definitely going to cross more than 50 percent. This is our estimate. Okay. Uh, so, how do you think the rooftop solar segment is growing, and what is the percentage of CNI and residential segment for rooftop solar, and how do you see them? growing in the next few years? Now with increasing in uh, electricity tariffs, everyone is aware and are looking to reduce their power tariffs in the industries, in commercial segments and also in residential and also because the awareness has increased drastically and people are becoming aware of uh, clean energy benefits. It is not only the savings in cost but overall benefits of the environment. So I think uh, currently the uh, uh, ind industry market and overall rooftop market is between 5 to 7 gigawatt. But uh, we believe that it is going to cross a 10 gigawatt mark in next two to three years. Uh, the majority will be going in CNI segment because of larger capacities. But residential market is also picking up quite rapidly. This year in residential market itself, Gujarat has come up with a 1 gigawatt tender uh, for subsidy. And overall, Pan India, the, the MNR the target for subsidy disbursement in residential market through the national portal is about 4 gigawatt. So uh, overall, uh, the residential market is also increasingly rapidly uh, gaining pace and industrial market is uh, on its own uh, increasing because of the savings in cost. So why do you think Gujarat as a state is at the forefront when it comes to residential rooftop? So Gujarat started its residential rooftop journey way back in 2016-2017. Uh, the major difference between other states' implementation versus Gujarat was that Gujarat implemented a digital approach where all the documentation, all the approvals, all the disbursement formalities were happening through a digital portal. This was created in collaboration with a German brand called GIZ, which is from the government itself. So the GIZ portal helped Gujarat government to launch a digital portal where all the channel partners could uh, submit the documents, could get the data, could uh, get the subsidy disbursement online. Uh, so there was very minimal paperwork and physical visit to the DISCOM offices. Uh, so in the, in the first year, uh, Gujarat started with about 170 odd megawatt of uh, cum cumulative uh, residential rooftop market. This was about 2017-2018. Uh, uh, going forward, 
there were more tenders coming up, 600 megawatt, one time another 600 megawatt, which was increased to 750, and this year it has increased to 1000 megawatt, uh, purely because one, a digital approach, secondly, the channel partners also took very keen interest and brought down the prices drastically. This year for the 1000 megawatt uh, implementation, there are more than 700 odd channel partners, which is like almost a, a very big record uh, compared to the other states of India. Uh, states like Maharashtra targeting just a 50 or 100 megawatt, whereas the neighboring state Gujarat is doing a 1000 megawatt. States like Kerala pushing a lot, they have a 200 megawatt, even Tamil Nadu is having 200 megawatt. But I think by far Gujarat is tending ahead in terms of residential uh, solar market space. How do you see the growth of jobs with respect to residential rooftop? Do you think that this is going to create an increase in jobs also for people? So definitely, uh, when we talk about the 700 odd channel partners in Gujarat, every company must be employing at least 8 to 10 people. Some people are employing more than 100 to 200 odd people uh, depending on their scale. So uh, because residential market, you need a lot of engineers on the field. Uh, to install, to uh, transport the material for maintenance. There is a five-year maintenance contract as well, so post-installation, sales and service. Uh, so residential market brings a lot of employment. These are 700 channel partners, but every channel partner has 8 to 10 dealers who also have their own team and setup, uh, who go out in the market and uh, do the marketing and sales and services. So I think just in Gujarat, uh, I just this is just our internal number, we believe that uh, at least between 1 to 2 lakh people are employed purely in the residential solar market in Gujarat. So coming back to my question on bifacial modules, do you think that the growth of bifacial modules will also cause an increase in solar tra trackers? They will be back in a big way once again? So uh, with the increase in cost in the solar market, uh, solar modules, uh, in any case the uh, attractiveness towards trackers increases. Uh, the additional cost of putting up a tracker versus the generation gain uh, compared to the additional cost of increasing the modules on the DC side. The trackers are becoming more cost effective and along with the bifacial modules which you are suggesting, uh, the increase in generation becomes much more. So definitely the trend is towards trackers with bifacial modules for the larger power plants. Do you think that polycrystalline modules are somewhere losing out in the game that they are becoming older now in terms of technology? So honestly speaking, we still believe that there is a market for polycrystalline modules in India because India has always been a cost sensitive market. So wherever there is a space availability, we still recommend customers to go for polycrystalline purely because the generation on a per megawatt remains the same, but capex on the per megawatt uh, is uh, significantly higher than the monopack modules. But definitely there is always uh, issue with availability of space, at least on the rooftop market. So there definitely monopack makes more sense. In the roof, uh, this, uh, larger power plant market, if you have more space and the land is not that expensive, it is believed so between 5 to 10 lakh rupee an acre kind of a, a cost of land, then still there is a market for poly, but definitely it is a surety that uh, uh, it is losing its space and uh, monopack is going to take over uh, almost completely. The current ratio, which was 80-20 towards poly and monopack, is going to reverse to 80-20, I mean 2080 in the next maybe one or two years. Uh, so you have also completed 10 years in the renewable energy sector. Congratulations to that. And how has the journey been and what are some leadership lessons that you've picked up along the way? So it has been a really, really good memorable journey for us. A lot of learning, lot of friendships, lot of network. But more importantly, we are uh, trying to uh, support the cause of uh, our country to reduce our carbon footprint, to generate clean energy at a very affordable price. And our focus has always been on the distributed solar side. So we are trying to generate power at the site of consumption. So in terms of uh, the transmission loss, which is a big factor in the country, wherever there are large thermal power plants, which are at a centralized location, and there is at least 15 to 20 percent uh, overall TND losses. Uh, some places we are seeing 25 percent TND losses. Those are nullified because of on-site solar. So uh, it has been a pretty good experience. Uh, learning, uh, connecting to people. We are serving to more than 800,000 such customers span India. Uh, we have a good sales team. We have been able to develop a brand for us in the market. And now we see a space where India itself is growing much rapidly. India was about a 10-15 gigawatt market previous year. Uh, we believe that it is going to cross 30-35 gigawatt or maybe even more in coming towards the years and uh, then averaging out to even 40-45 gigawatt. So the overall trend is pretty high 
and the adoption is very fast. Uh, and we see that now with the last 10 years of whatever uh, involvement in the sector, now we see a big jump even ourselves in the sector. Uh, you know, with the cost of solar installations increasing, uh, what is your take on that and how do you witness the trend in say the next two to three years? Uh, definitely the first two quarters from this year, uh, the sales had gone down drastically because of sudden increase in the prices. People were not ready to absorb the increase in cost. Uh, the industry people who had already plans for solar, now they had deferred the plans and they were waiting for the prices to cool down. But now that it has become almost a standard, whatever prices increase was supposed to happen have happened and it has become stabilized now. So people have now started adopting solar again. One indirect uh, factor for this is also that the grid tariffs have increased in last three months or four months across the nation between 10 to 15 percent. So the 70, 80 paisa, 90 paisa or increase in the general tariff has propelled the industry to move towards solar and, re and uh, try to reduce the electricity in the long run because whatever capex that has increased, it is going to be one time, but uh, it is going to stay for forever. The savings will remain, uh, but if they don't do any uh, solar or alternate sources of energy, their current power bills will keep on increasing. So, uh, with a couple of quarters down, now we see a big jump in solar because now industry has understood that uh, without going for alternate sources of energy, particularly solar, maybe wind at some locations, uh, their survival will become uh, a big question mark. Also, industry as a whole is understanding the importance of carbon neutrality because their customers are uh, increasingly asking their vendors to go neutral. Any MNC who is selling to the uh, clients in Europe or US, they have been forced or compelled to reduce their carbon footprint to decarbonize their energy consumption. So even that is becoming a big factor to go for solar. What about the increase in prices of solar modules? How has that affected Navita Solar personally and also domestic manufacturers? How are they taking this rise in price? So as I said, uh, the first two quarters, uh, the market went down drastically. So even we faced a uh, hit in our uh, bottom sales and bottom line for the first two quarters. But now with the increase in uh, demand locally and also uh, because now the substitution, substitution from China to India is happening because the difference in duty between sales and modules, the imported modules are now becoming much more expensive. So slowly, gradually, the Indian developers are moving towards local manufacturing. We are in talks with at least eight or ten developers uh, to set up uh, dedicated uh, manufacturing facilities for them uh, of gigawatt scale. So the couple of quarters being down, we next year see a big jump for almost all the manufacturers who have been there in the market, who have a steady name, who make modules of a certain quality. So definitely the demand will be there and it is going to increase drastically. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Vineet. Very good inputs. Thank you.